Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother Ramar Said. Today uh, I will be reading about the issue of remembering, remembering Allah. Allah the Almighty has said in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 152. Therefore, remember me. I will remember you. Be grateful to me and never show me ingratitude. And he said, in Surah Al-Hazab, verse number 41. All you who believe, remember Allah with much remembrance. And he also said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Hazab, verse number 35. وَالذَّاكِرِنُ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا and the men and the women who remember Allah frequently, Allah has prepared for them forgiveness and a great reward. And He said, and remember your Lord, be your tongue and within yourself, humbly and out, without loudness, by words in the morning and in the afternoon, and be not among those who are neglectful. The Prophet ﷺ said, He who remembers his Lord, and he who does not remember his Lord are like the living and the dead. And he said, Shall I not inform you all of the best of your works, the purest of them with your master Allah, the loftiest of them in your station, the thing that is better for you than spending gold and silver in charity, and better for you than meeting your enemy and slaying them, and being slain by them. They said, the companion, of course, he said, remembrance of Allah the Most High. And he said, Allah the Most High said, I am with my slave when he thinks of me, and I am with him when he mentions me. For if he mentions me to himself, I mention him to myself. And if he mentions me in gathering, I mention him in a superior gathering. If he approaches me by a hand width, I approach him by an arm's length. And if he approaches me by an arm's length, I approach him by two arms length. And if he comes to me walking, I hasten to him swiftly. Abdullah bin Busun said that a man asked the Prophet وسلم, O Messenger of Allah, Verily the sanction of Islam have become too numerous for me to perform them all. Inform me of something simple that I may always adhere to. The Prophet said, Let your tongue always be moist with the remembrance of Allah. And he said, Whoever reads one letter from the Book of Allah will receive one hasana, reward for a good deed. And one hasana comes with ten like it. I do not say that Alif Lam Mim is a letter. Indeed, Alif is a letter, and Lam is a letter, and Mim is a letter. Uqba bin Umar said, The Messenger of Allah وسلم, came out from his house, and, he, and we were on the porch. So he said, Who of you would you like to go out in the morning every day to the valley of Bhutan? O al Akir, and he came back with two large she camels without committing any sin or serving the family type. We replied, O Messenger of Allah, all of us would like this. So he said, Would one of you not go to the masjid and learn or recite two verses from the Book of Allah, the Mighty and the Majestic? That would be better for him than two she camels. The three verses would be better for him than she three camels, she camels. And four verses would be better than four she camels. 
and whatever their number may be of camels. And he said, Whoever sits and does not mention the name of Allah before he rises will find it cause of sorrow from Allah. Whoever lies down to sleep and does not mention the name of Allah before rising, he will find it a cause of sorrow from Allah. And the Prophet ﷺ said, No people sit in an assembly without mentioning Allah and without asking Allah for blessings on their Prophet except that it will be a cause of sorrow upon them. Thus, if he wishes, he will punish them, and if he wishes, he will forget them. And he said, No people may rise from an assembly in which they have failed to mention the name of Allah without it, being as if they were getting off a dead donkey's rotting back, and it would be a cause of grief for them. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.